Right. I was like, he knows I'm not going to let him go with softball <laughs> questions. Because this is, this is we, we have conversations when I show up to the Nikon offices that you, you wouldn't believe. They'd make your head explode. Well, they the would. Good, the good, before we even get started then, one thing that we should point out is it's always good to have a passionate consumer. Because if they're willing to give you a bit of a hard time, it's for one reason, and that's because they care. So is, is this thing on? This thing on? Yeah. This thing on. Can we hear him? Sibilance. Sibilance. No, now, now we got you. All right. So introduce yourself. Tell us who you're with, what your position is, and let's get down to business All to right. close out this day. I'm Steve Heiner. I'm a senior technical manager with Nikon. How's well, that? Thanks for coming on the show, Steve. In my best radio voice. Yeah, but I like talking with Steve. There's a couple of people that they try <laughs> to have me talk to, and I, and I ask for Steve every time because he's going to give it to me straight. He's gonna, he, he knows what I don't really care about. Uh -huh. Like built-in HDR, whoopee, <laughs> but there's other things. So I'm going to give you the floor and let you talk before I question, right. say something else. All right. What you want to talk about first? Let's the take little the little, the okay. little, the little right. redesign. We'll, we'll is, set that is aside it smaller for a than before? It is. This, is. this is our new Nikon 1 V2 camera. And yes, it's a little can, bit can smaller I than the real V1. Quick? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. We do have somebody watching to make sure I don't step out of line. Like always, Nikon makes sure there's eyes on me so that I don't do something like dance with the booth babe or, <laughs> or interrupt something. I get warned every time. Have you been over to see our dancers? I was dancing, yes, tap dancing was. yesterday, yes. and, I got, and I got yelled at. Scary. Uh, it wasn't, Scary. Your, wasn't your option? No, there's probably files of that. I want to see them, though. Oh, I yeah? I get to see them. Okay. <laughs> But this is our new V2. It is smaller than the V1. Uh, we built in a flash on the front of it. Wait, uh, we've got a finder on I'm the top of it. I'm a Canon guy. Assume I know nothing about the V1. <laughs> Tell me about the camera. What? what okay. What, okay. A little over a year ago, we introduced a whole new camera concept. It's called the Nikon One system. And while there have been over the last couple of years a plethora of large sensor, very small cameras, we noticed that they require a very large lens, which kind of defeats the purpose, in our opinion. So Nikon developed our CX format uh, sensor, which is a one-inch sensor, in order to keep the size of the lenses proportionate to the camera body, thus okay. making a super small system. Okay. So that super small system is what the Nikon 1 is all about. We introduced originally a Nikon J1, then a V1. Those two cameras were sort of targeted towards different types of, of folks. Okay. Uh, for instance, the J1 is very sleek. It's, it comes in various colors. It's a very minimalist kind of approach. So it's a camera that's not intimidating in any way because the people who really... Especially if it comes in pink. <laughs> you know, and it is pink, too. I oh, mean, it really, really, really pink. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it comes in a bunch of colors, but the pink is shocking pink. But that camera is designed to be as simple as just push the button and take beautiful pictures and movies. And also, we introduced a concept called the motion snapshot. And the motion snapshot's kind of cool if you've never seen one. For people who are interested in sharing online, it shoots uh, a short little piece of slow motion footage and mixes that with a full resolution still image to background music built into the camera. So when you play it back, it creates a motion to still montage with music. Interesting. I know, he's cringing while I'm I saying this. I know, he's this. not a big fan of that. But hey, you but know, nonetheless. For, a, for a teenage girl, you know, <laughs> who just saw something cool somewhere. And put it, it it's, it's a hey, very interesting a people, feature. Yeah. It works really well to do the slow motion. And I mean, they just need chariots of fire in there next time <laughs> to get the rights for that. And then you can be good to go. Okay, I feel like I have a handle on it. So, so the, i got to so say, that feels better than the original. Yeah. That you I, put a I grip like on it. it. I've got large hands, and it does tend to give me more to hang on to. The V1 camera that we introduced a little over a year ago, awesome camera, had also an EVF. That was the difference between the J1 and the V1. The V1 offered a little bit more control, a little more versatility for somebody who was a little more into the process of taking pictures, not just about the finished picture. Uh, so... So this go around, we introduced the, 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 the V2 with not only the same 1.4 million dot EVF in it, but we built in a flash, we made the body smaller, we put a grip on it and made it a little more easy to hang on to. Plus we've also increased some of the specifications. Now it can actually shoot 15 frames per second. With, with that? With full autofocus at full resolution. Does Absolutely. that mean raw? 
That means raw. No. Yes. You're telling me that yes. will shoot 15 yes. raw, 15 per second. 15 per raw. second with full autofocus. Absolutely. Up to now, how many? if you can accept the focus being locked on the first frame, you can shoot 30 and 60 frames per second at full resolution as well. The, the raw. One, yeah. Sure. The one thing I'll give to this camera is that the the full time autofocus for video is tremendous. Yeah. It's fast. There's nothing that matches that. that okay, I've I want to try in fact, that. In fact, what he's hitting on is kind of at the heart of how this works. Because there is no reflex mirror, of course, we had to put the phase detect autofocus sensors right on the CMOS sensor itself. So it has the duality of both, or the hybrid nature of a contrast detect and a phase detect on the same sensor. And of course, that makes it super, super fast. Okay, I have a question. He's got a question. I, I feel it percolating I, I don't there. even want to ask because I'm, I'm just, I feel like I'm going to get a no, but I have to ask because I got to know, does it have an external microphone input? No. Okay. Why not? I, I didn't think it would. <laughs> of course it does. It does? Right there. Okay. Callie and I carry, uh, the only Nikon that I own is we have a Nikon P7000. Right that we use as a backup, and we we actually started using it for a lot more video because yeah. it's just so dang easy, yeah. like when we're traveling, to pull absolutely. it out. Let me tell you another. You're telling me I could use this instead and Here. get way yeah, better. Absolutely. Hold on to that. As a matter of fact, because it has that mic jack, uh, you and because you can look through the viewfinder, it it's like taking movies in stealth mode because you, you look almost like you're just taking still but photographs. But no headphone output, though. No. That's that would be eminently I useful to me uh. to be able to set the, the audio level and because right now what we have, just as feedback, what we have to do is we use a wireless handheld yep. mic, yep. and so I have to like shoot some test video and listen to it and make sure it's okay, yeah. and I have to pray that like a battery doesn't die in the middle or something. If right. I could just have a headphone monitor... That's my only thing, and then, oh, anyway, yeah. I want to try one of these now. Yeah. Okay. now Can we scan we, the we, we, good also, okay. we also have our ME1 stereo microphone that we make available for our DSLRs. That can fit right on top here also. I did a review also. of that. Yeah, great little mic, so that'll okay. work right here as well. Okay. Now, we also introduced an SBN7 Speedlight with this a few days ago, uh, which you can put right here where the accessory port is, and that gives you a, a little bit higher power, actually much higher power than the built-in flash, but a little bit more than our existing SBN5 flash, and that will actually allow you to bounce, bounce it up to 120 degrees, and it will uh, it comes with a soft uh, diffuser also. Okay. Am I not doing the Vanna White well enough? I was doing it? the Vanna White. Okay, but sorry. But can we put this away and get to the real cameras? I know Jared really wants This to feels show nice. This I'm off. not going to lie that the redesign you got it right the second time. Thank you. <laughs> That's You're that welcome. is a glowing endorsement. <laughs> the first from time Jared is, Poland, thank you. okay? <laughs> second time feels much All better. All right, let's move on. Good. That makes me is feel better. Is this a D600? Too. It is indeed. All right, I have mine right here and I'm going to tell you I'm loving the D600. It made the D7000 for me a non-existent camera. Just for the fact that when I'm shooting my own videos going out and shooting that I can put a 14 to 24 on and it's a 14 to 24. Right. Right. I always grab my D4, but now that I can grab this because the high ISO capability is there, I grab the D600 and use it. Yeah. Let's tell people what it's capable of, then you can hear from him yeah, whatever well they, his complaints are. They can are. watch my review on it. I don't have complaints on this camera, um, but we're going to talk about this lens because that's the newest toy that they barely let me touch and sniff. Yeah, but you were the first one to touch the box. Well, it's because I ran into I ran into <laughs> Steve in line when I was when we got here the other day and I just took the box right off the top. He's like he, his hands were full, so he couldn't do anything, <laughs> couldn't chase after me. So talk about this lens. I know it has some cool features. Yeah, that you this like. is this is an, a truly incredible lens. It's a 70 to 200 f 4.0. Okay. It is a G-type lens. It has ED elements. It also has one HRI element, which helps uh, minimize chromatic aberration. I know. Is that I know. New? I know. It is. In is that this, not in, in any lens? No, we have it in another lens, but this is the second time we've used an HRI element to help uh, minimize uh, Is this nano-coated? It is nano-crystal coated be as well. It better be because I didn't even check to see if it, it had it on the lens. It is. Okay. It totally is. Okay. Uh, but the best, the biggest news here is this brand new 70 to 200 f4 has our third generation of VR vibration reduction image stabilization to five stops of compensation. What? So you can handhold this camera at five shutter speeds slower than you normally would with this lens because of this improved VR. Wow. Five so we, stops. The original was three stops. Then we went to four. And many of our most recent lenses. Now this is the first to go to a full five stop. So, VR. are you replacing the seventy to two hundred two? 
No, the, the 7200 2.8 will still continue to be available, but let me tell you, this represents a huge value at $1,399. That's almost half the price of our 2.8. It's only 29.3 ounces, focuses to 3.3 feet. Wow. For a 70 to 200, it's pretty That's remarkable. Deal. And it's lightweight. I mean, feel it. It's well, here. It's for, at that price point, the ability to really, uh, I mean, if, if you can shoot at uh, F, you know, 4.0, and even if the shutter was going to have to open a, stay open a little longer than you were comfortable with, if it can do that much stabilization, then it's kind of like having a lens that costs twice as much but without paying. It's not quite well, the same, not, and you can't not, get the same bokeh and things like that. It's not quite but the same, but... let's assume that you don't need that. Let's assume you're shooting something, and you were going to shoot it at 4 or 5 or 5.6 anyway, then, you know... You could cheat at one more shutter speed. How much of a sharpness difference would we see between that and like a 2.8 lens? That's I, I don't think you're going to see. I don't think you're going to see any sharpness difference. What you will see is Very a difference. Light, people. You'll Very see a light. difference in the shallow depth of field by virtue of the other lens having a 2.8 aperture versus a four. Yeah. But it's that's a, it's a minimal difference okay. really. And and with the cameras, all of our cameras' capability of shooting in such low light, having five stops of VR and even an f4 lens at such a great price makes this, I, I, I know this is going to be extremely well, popular. If you are looking for something less expensive than a 2.8, this is an option to have. I'm still a big fan of saying save up for the 2.8, especially as a pro. Yep. But when I tested, played with this in the booth yesterday, I put the VR on for yeah. video. Yeah. That is where I think this lens can shine. Where a 70 to 200 is very hard to hold, to a 2.8 is very hard to hold to do video. This is much lighter. Yeah. I zoomed out the 200, turned the VR on, then turned it off, and it went right to shaking. Yeah. So for me, I would put this in the bag if I was just doing video. Yeah. I could see it for that. So a wedding photographer that's going to start doing video out there to get people on the floor to, to not have to be on a tripod, to have the, five, uh, the VR with the five stops, that is stabilizing it better than I've seen before. That's, Ashley, that, that, by the way, Ashley in the chat room said, Fro... You know, not everybody can spend two or three thousand dollars. Well, I know on that a, on a lens. I am well aware of that, and I tell people that the, the if you're a pro, I'm not even going to go into it. But I, <laughs> I'm all about two point eight or better, and everybody knows that. And yep. if you're going to invest yourself in this as a profession, you want to use the best that you can. This is a great option to have. It it really is at f four. It's perfectly fine. It's still fourteen hundred bucks, which is still expensive. It's, it's a lot of money to drop it, on a it's lens. St it's still expensive, but when you get onto a D six hundred, I'm just going to go off on a rant here. Go. This is the first time that I've said on a body where, just flat out, if you're not going to use better glass, then you shouldn't. You shouldn't buy that. Be graduating buy, into buy a, a D six hundred. If you can't afford it at this point, stick with your D7000, stick with your DX lenses, use them on your D7000 and below. But when you step into the pro range, to get the most out of a camera, to get the most out of the full frame sensor, you want to put the best glass on there. And fair, I'm just saying it. Is it fair then to say that your personal recommendation would be if you were making upgrades, do the glass before the body? I say the glass all day long. If you take a piece of crap lens and put it on a D4, you're gonna get, you, you have a better chance of getting a piece of crap photo. Okay. But if you take a D3200 and you put even you know, a 70 to 200, you put a 14 to 24 on there, I've taken the D3000, which is two generations ago at this mm -hmm. point, that maxed out at 1600, shot backstage, shot a concert, shot the whole concert, behind the scenes and, and the whole show, with the 14 to 24, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, I call it a Hebrew Trinity, the three lenses that I try not to leave home <laughs> without ever. And people couldn't, they couldn't believe that I could do that with a D3000, but it comes down to one shooting raw, but putting quality glass on it, but beyond anything else, beyond gear, 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 it's education. If you don't know how to work your camera, if you don't understand lighting, and you don't understand manual, and, and, and how, how your exposures work, you can't be off by four stops and expect to bring it back. You get people complaining about noise and grain. Steve, what? Am I just no, I'm speaking no, you, gospel you here? We are this all in violent agreement. But this is what I'm, I'm just making sure the people out here see what I'm 
getting at. If you, if you understand photography, you put quality glass, and quality glass doesn't need to expen be expensive. They make a 35.18, Canon makes a 50.18 that you know, you're spending under, three, what's it, 200 bucks? Mm -hmm. 210, something like that? The Canon 35.18 is affordable. 109. Right, the $109, 50 millimeter 1.8 plastic, fantastic. Yep. They don't have to be expensive. You put it on the camera, you shoot, Back to you, Steve. Again, get really proficient with the gear you've See, got. You, you talked about passion. He has, that's it, right he there. He has it in by the barrel. <laughs> that's it, right there. By the barrel. And that's after <laughs> like everybody loves and, him. and you know what? And, and you made a really good point about about VR as it applies to video too. We we I don't I don't find people wanting to discuss that as much as I think they should, because people who are shooting video that VR will make all the difference in the world. Do you it's use really, the VR really. on the monopod? Uh, for you video, can, you can, but I don't. I okay. don't typically. All right. My I mean, I, I enjoy it. In one minute. Um, Depends on how much you're moving around on the on the mono. Yeah. What else is new? What else? You, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know while while we're ranting, I'm picking up the D4 for one reason because I'm gonna open the back and I'm gonna show you that there's an XQD slot in there. Yeah. It's Are you fast. guys standing behind it? Absolutely. What's coming up next that you totally. can tell me about that you can't tell me about because you're not going to? Of that's course gonna not. That's gonna use an XQD card. I can't tell you anything. I know you, you, you know the old. It's, oh, it's I know too the predictable to say uh, I could. I'd have to. T I'd have to kill and you. And I'm not ripping on the XQD by any stretch of the imagination. I know you don't like carrying different cards. You don't like carrying different, different readers. Card readers. Uh, give me two of it, or you know. You know. What's it? Give me liberty or give me death? Is that but, what he said? But, but see, you like Hang it on. for its advantages, but you wouldn't have My had battery. we introduced two at the same yeah. time. My battery literally says zero minutes. Oh, uh -oh. There, it goes. there goes your battery. Well, uh, what were you going to say? Um, well. We have some viewers who have been watching, I mean, all day. Yeah. In fact, there was one, and I'm hoping to get a... Uh, hang on. Well, now, now, we, now we know how long that hyperjuice lasts. Yeah, the <laughs> hyperjuice died a little while ago, and I then grabbed my... Uh, uh, I mean, then we went on to the normal battery. But right. we have one viewer who has been watching on their cell phone in the car while even driving around. Who was it? I'm, I'm about to tell you, but i got to plug this in. Can we get a plug, please? We're, we're going to get it plugged in here. <laughs> well, while we're doing that, we'll keep talking about Sorry. What's, in the, what's in the works. Talk. How about let's talk hypothetically what's in the works. Hypothetically, what would be the lens for you if you could have a new lens? Wow. You know, I get the opportunity to suggest lenses all the time. And, of course, this... Became, to that, yeah, that fulfilled my dream for uh, for a long time. I've always wanted a lens that had the versatility of that super ultra rectilinear design wide angle lens, but the versatility of changing focal well, length. I'll tell you, I brought one lens with me this week, or for the weekend. It yeah. is the fourteen to twenty four yeah. because I was coming just to do video. I wasn't shooting stills, but even if I was shooting stills, the 24 gives me the versatility not to do portraits, but that's why I'm going home with a 70 to 200 f4 in my bag, so that if I need to shoot portraits on the way home, I have the 70 to 200 f4. Yes? Okay. No? Absolutely. I know. I totally agree. You're letting I'm, me do it? No. I'm not letting you take this one, but, or unless you maybe trade me for this one. No, that's <laughs> not even close. <laughs> not even close. Okay. I've got, that, I've got that name. Now, it's not really pronounceable. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what it says. It's... T O six six A R O T T O six A R O. Hey, you know when you're naming everybody, and if you put a number in your name, there you go. It's pretty good. Been watching all day, even on his phone while he's driving back and forth in the car from work. And and Dave Herwig, are you telling me that they won something for being there all day? That's what Callie's saying, right? What did they win? I don't know well, what you won, but you out. won something. <laughs> I want to get into more Also, one discussion. more shout out. Ben Rothig has been watching all day long. Oh, won the Smug Mug. Oh, okay. So, to, to six a row, however you want to say that. You win the Smug Mug Pro because you are watching all day long. <laughs> that is impressive. That That's is hardcore. a marathon. Okay? You know what hardcore. I would like to do? Jeff, take a note, if you could. Can I come up to New York and get him on a podcast of Frono's Photo Raw Talk, that would be an amazing Raw Talk to have no you on. No problem. We can just talk camera gear, talk about the past, talk about uh, San Francisco from the 70s. 
What? You're not allowed to talk about that? No. <laughs> I, re I remember being there. Do you? you remember being there? <laughs> I wasn't there, but I know you were there with Jim Marshall and, and all those guys yeah, yeah, hanging yeah. out. Yeah. No, so it was what else? Great. What else? Before? Do we have to get going shortly? Well, you know, it's, it's officially time to wrap up the show for the day. Okay. But I know you two could go on forever. Yeah. Just put one of those to be continued that's, across the I bottom think of the frame. Good, that's I, a I good thank you for coming though. on here. This thank is, you for having me. This is a nice step up. Does it come in pink? No, does unfortunately, it come in red? Do, does not. Does it come in purple? Comes in white and black. Black and white. Black it's and white. Nice. Yes I, or no? I, Classic. I, you know, yeah. I mean, it, it feels nice. It's metal. It, it, it has is. a nice body. Magnesium it has a nice alloy. feel. It's well built. Um, I legitimately want to try one of these. I, I'm, I'm not kidding. I okay. seriously want to get one of those. We can arrange and that. And Callie and I will shoot some traveling episodes of Geek Beat on it. Excellent. And we will tell work. them. Everyone will see how it works. Outstanding. Right, That'll be great. We could talk Thank forever. You, guys. you know that. I know Thank it. you so Thank much. Thank you very on. much that for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you. You cool. guys. Thank you.